Now let me know if this statement kind of describes your life. You want to play Diablo 2, you love the game, but you don't have four or five hours a day to play. You might have four or five hours a week to play. It's usually segmented up, an hour here, 45 minutes there, struck between doing household chores and taking care of the kids and hanging out with the wife, etc., etc. So you don't want to spend 15 or 20 minutes of that one hour or that 45 minutes you have searching online to find people to play with to kind of do split magic find games. So you end up just farming in a game solo by yourself or you hop into just like public chaos games and you fight with the other seven people to try to grab that burr rune when it eventually does drop. Now from responding to comments when I'm live streaming and reading comments on my video, I believe this is kind of the silent majority of players. And that's why I decided on this idea for a video today, I'm gonna be testing out, are you gonna be better off farming online solo, just in a game by yourself, or hopping into something like a public chaos game and then fighting with those seven other people trying to get that one good item when it eventually does drop. So when we're testing this players one solo in a game against the players eight ran like a public game where everyone just grabs everything they want. I'm going to do it in two different ways. First, we're going to do it where I actually do seven and a half to approximately eight hours of players one against the players eight runs showing exactly how much stuff can I actually get my grimy little fingers on and actually pick up and be able to keep these items for myself. Not if they just drop, but what I can actually get for myself. And then we'll see at the end, I'll kind of show you the numbers for why this actually comes to be. And I do have a hypothesis that is proven out to be true, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the game. But just super quick to show you what I'm rocking, Fist of the Heavens Paladin with really great gear. Hoto, Enigma, you know, you got the Shaco, we got the Haas, Arachnus Mesh, a bunch of Skillers, Torch, and Annie. So we're actually rocking after Battle Order stuff. Level 47 right here, Fist of the Heavens and level 47. Holy bolt. So we have a excellent character. So even on players eight difficulty, this is essentially a completely maxed out fist of the heavens paladin. So we should be absolutely holding our own even in full games. So we're jumping to players one first and the criteria I use for what drops I'm going to show if it's a super rare item, but absolutely nobody uses it. I'm not going to show it. We're talking things like Medusa's Gaze, Headhunter's Glory, just for examples. But I am going to show a little bit lower runes than I usually do. We're dropping down all the way to like Fal and Co, because if those drop in a public game, they're getting snatched up instantly because everybody wants runes, fellas. More I love than when someone gives me Jeff Bezos' money. Oh, not bad, but not perfect. All the stuff rolled a little bit under what it can roll up to. But that's not a bad charm. Not bad. Read it and I chose not to, chose not to go on. Owl's Mask, uh, us spitter? Nailed it, Tal's Mask. Useful one, a week or, uh, you know, what are we, two weeks in the ladder now? Most people might have them for your acting mercenaries, but still. Oh, let's go. I feel like I found a good facet earlier in the season, too. My man. I just got a feeling. Never mind. Couldn't be much more incorrect. I got one of the numbers right. Boom. Just nuked him. Oh, 220 boa gloves. Some fire res. Uh, so not great. Not a ton of stuff on there. But 220 boa gloves, that's cool, right? Tebex glory. Korun. Oh. Not the god tier high rune, but no one else in the game. You have no problem to grab it, right? Zephyrin says, oh, Swirling Crystal, okay. Not the rarest, but man, when you want one, you want one, fellas. It's the Oculus. Ooh. Uh, someone up here said I found a Griffin's Day 3, so I'm guessing, oh, hold up. He won Rune, fellas. Now we gotta go. Now we gotta go. Jeez, I don't know. Sweet Phil Luck, man. Sweet Phil Luck. Tokens in D2R, like, if you mess up your build and you want to respec... Oh, Foul Rune. Okay, well. I guarantee you on, uh, if I was in a game with a bunch of other people, I would not have been able to get my fingers on it. Uh, Lord DeSace and Viz Grand Vizier. Another Alder's Boots. Are we gonna get perfect here? 43, 43, but great for making up the fire res that you don't get on spirit. So that's another gulp today. I got a gull rune. Um, ooh. I just got a Dungo's Hardy Cord. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, I think 15's the max DR too. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll stick with solo today and then just try to rock players eight for the full like. Uh, oh. Oh, I always look for sick ogre stuff. Felt weird even saying it the proper way now after I've been saying it wrong and on purpose for so long. Well, this is like the burrs, but it's the next version up of oh item, so it must be even better. And this is oh, I can see it sitting there, not ethereal. Still, never find any ethereal. Reaper's toll. Um, how did these roll? Two hundred. Mid roll. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I knew it wasn't perfect, but. I was like 200, that's either perfect or not great. It's either real bad or perfect, I don't know. Oh, okay, well, 10 FCR, 70 to mana. Two decks. Man, the other stuff's kind of small, but I do like the FCR with a bunch of mana on it. I do kind of like that. I do like that. What? <laughs> what is... Oh my gosh, what is... what? Guys, what is players one? What does it mean? I don't have any I don't have any scrolls of identify, but if I did, it would turn green. <laughs> P1 the greatest. It, I think it's official, guys. And the thing is, I probably wouldn't have gotten any of this stuff if it was on if I was in a full game on players eight. Five to forty-five. Not everybody, but on average, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, what is going on? We popping off. Ah, only two skills on it, and a 158 damage roll. I mean, can't that be... Oh, wait. Two, three. So, can that be two, four? Okay, all right. Let's see. Dun, 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 Boom. Oh, yeah, all right. Any two skills is happy, fine. So, two to skills, FCR. Uh, and then besides that, the best thing is... The two things that are guaranteed on it, the mana and the regenerate mana, so... Hold up. See, definitely wouldn't have gotten that. Thanks a lot, chat. I was reading chat and I didn't see it fall. If that was player's eight, I would not have seen that. And I would not have gotten... This perfect Mara's. Boom! Oh. Templar's coat, not ethereal, you can see it glowing right there. Still a kind of cool one, um... Let's see, 184. A good roll. But good old Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel. Do it. Boom. Oh. It is a godly monarch, though. Oh, a little troll belt. There you go. Get that cannot be frozen. Good old Trang's belt, fellas, right? Oh. Good old Fire Skiller. It's a little something, though. I need to get myself another, uh, I need to get my, myself some more, uh, Whoops, that did not, there we go. Oh, Death Mask, I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even see it laying there. You think if this was P8, I would've got that? You think if this is a full game, I would've got that right there? Oh my gosh, players won, fellas. Let's do it. First high rune of the day. And as we are comparing this to players eight, do you think I would've got this if that was P8? Same kill speed. Well, see, there's there's a very large, very large. Oh my gosh! Still haven't found any 220 Java gloves on single player, but then online and with Mana Leech on them, Mana Leech goaded on the gloves too. Oh my gosh! And Mana, those are some nice gloves. They really are. Wow! Right next to that Vex room a minute ago too. Those are some pretty nice gloves with you bone knife oh anyone need to whisk spike all right yeah make a game just put it in the chat and we'll we'll do that so and then a whisk spike from uh good old diablo if anyone needs that 50 yeah. so now we're jumping into players eight and let me know down in the comments if you notice a trend between these player eight drop highlights everyone's so quick conqueror's crown oh no i couldn't get it a twitch only stream at some point too oh my gosh you guys are taking to heart the whole uh, grab that stuff quick, huh? What? Oh, Falrune. Uh, well, that was uh, that one disappeared quick. Depends on what level you're gonna be, right? But uh, ooh, got two charms. Let's go. Uh, ooh, level 16. Wait a second. Mm, I don't know. 
I don't know what that stuff can roll up to at this lower level. Oh, or oh, got it. Yeah, I got the perfect Mara's, fellas. Let's go. Well, I'll use one first. Perfect Mara's. Boom. Oh, not perfect Mara's, but I grabbed a Seraphim. Um rune, huh? Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see where I dropped. Nice. Pull rune. Let's go. Drops popping off for me already, fellas. You seen's it. You seen's it. See, that's the strat you gotta do when you're in the public games. You gotta run up in front of everybody and kill monsters. And that's how you get the stuff. Oh, there's a cow rune, wasn't there? Just missed it. Couldn't get over to it in time. Ogre X though. I don't... Oh no! Someone got my unidentified SOJ. Rabin Frost. Rabin Frost. Is that because they're in a different language or something? Boom. Just stole that guy's small charm. Oh, nine. Nine gold find with 16 to mana. That's one off of perfect on both of those. Unfortunate that they weren't both perfect because... That one extra gold find and one to mana probably quadruples the value of that charm. <laughs> Alright, yeah, not too bad. Max fire, a little magic find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, I forgot I couldn't pick it up. Conqueror's Crown. Worst, um, like, quote-unquote number of hours into playing a game. Oh, Vex Rune! I didn't get it! Oh, man, a Vex Rune dropped right next to me. No, you keep it, you keep it. I see. Just found a cham in Trav a minute ago here. Nice. The rare one. Congrats. Death Mask. Nailed it. We got a Lum a minute ago. I actually got the Tal's Mask, too. Dead. I don't know. Some of their songs are... Oh, no, I missed it three times. I missed everything. Right here. You can do it. Boom. Oh, that's not bad. Two to Sorcerer skills, 10 FCR. Everything else is pretty minimal, but... Big's been trying to get a Vex for months, can't find one. Oh, was that a... Oh yeah, that would have had to been a uh, Geats. Nice. Let him fall. Yeah, oh. Ah! See? See, Ginger? Right there, if I was in a game by myself, I totally would have nabbed that unique ring. I'm only one... F oh, someone's too quick. I thought I had that too. I was I was quick on the trigger. Number twelve. Why you can't trust players eight? Oh, didn't get it. That's probably that unidentified SOJ now too. A strict ban on mosaic assassins. So, Kolrune. Oh, someone snagged that super quick. But you know, you're, you're picking up on laying down. Lemrune. Oh. Man, I didn't get it. Shucks. Oh, Barb Masteries, let's go. Ooh. Is that good or what? Collect the rare mounts. Gotcha, gotcha. Malru, no, I didn't even see it. Someone, someone grabbed a Malru. I was too busy reading chat and stuff, I guess. Just chugged a potion for no reason. Got it! Got it. Razor tail. I mean, if your job is on, you want it, am I right? Boom! Oh! Not a 45 life skiller, but... Now, we can easily come to the same conclusion on those drop highlights. The players won. I got way more good stuff than I actually got on the player's A difficulty in these public games. And I'm gonna show you exactly why. So right now we're looking at the no drop chance from normal monsters. We're looking at players one in a game by ourselves. That's what the one and one means. Let's say hypothetically, just so you know what this whole chart is, we're gonna take a look at P3 slash one. This would be the equivalent of maybe putting in players three on single player, or if you have a total of three people in a game, but they're all off in different areas, magic finding. The first one is the player's difficulty. And the second one is the number of players in the same area. Depending on if they're in the same area or not, you can have slightly different chances of no drop from a monster. So players one difficulty, you're in a game by yourself. 
there's 62.5% chance of the monster not dropping an item. So you got to reverse that math for the chance that it will drop an item. That's 37 and a half percent. We're going to round to 38 just to make it easy. So that is almost a two out of five chance that the monsters will drop an item. So less than half the time. Now, when you jump down to players eight, it's only one and a half percent. You know, it's 1.64. We're just going to round it up to 100 percent just for simplicity of the math. So every single time you kill a monster P8, we're saying you're dropping an item every single time. Well, what you do have to remember, everyone's fighting over these drops. So let's say you're an average person that clicks average fast. Your internet is average speed to the same as everybody else. You have a one eighth of a chance of grabbing that item. That's only a 12 and a half percent chance of getting the item. Now, when we jump up to the players one, remember there's a two fists, roughly it's a 38% chance. So roughly 40% chance of getting an item. What do you think the odds are of you being able to grab that item over everybody else in the game? Well, guess what, folks? There is nobody else in the game. You're getting 100% of those items. So even though the drop rate is lower, you're getting every single item. You don't have to fight over it. On Players 8 difficulty, if you're hopping in these pub games, you're probably not getting a lot of it. And let's be honest, if you're hopping in these pub games, unless you're one of the most god-tier characters that are also one that gets right up in the nitty-gritty, holding the monster's hands, if you're not the Hammered in, if you're not the Mosaic Assassin, if you're not the Energy Shield Nova Sorceress, one of these completely god tier characters, you're probably not the one that's grabbing any of these items. So your actual grab chance, the odds you'll actually get the item are probably gonna be down in the literal single digits. But even in like the average scenario, 12 and a half percent, you're getting literally, after you do the math, one third the amount of good items that you would get on players one difficulty. Now that's just from these odds, let that sink in. So if you couldn't guess by hypothesis before starting this is that actually, Players one difficulty online, you're going to be actually better off farming than if you're jumping into public games for actually getting better gear, getting gear upgrades to make your character more powerful. So I think this is great advice, actually, for the average Joe, the person that has a few hours a week and somebody who can't necessarily take the time in order to like make friends on the Internet in order to find people to split magic fine with. And depending on how fast you kill, how good your character already is, maybe even perhaps You'll have to do the own calculation for yourself. You might be better off not even split magic finding at that point as well. You might be, well, if you're magic finding by yourself, already doing what the best option is for finding the best gear. 